Hmm. Rachel's not here yet. Oh. Oh, hi, Rachel. I was actually just wondering where you were. You're now here, though. You must have been really busy with potion making. Sorry. Were you waiting for me? Oh, no. No. Actually, I just came back in, too. I had to take care of, um, a lot of things. Are you okay? You look a bit worried. Yes, I'm fine. I am a little worried, though. I haven't seen Rylan for the past week, so I went to visit him at his dorm. Did you get to talk to him? No... I waited for an hour and he didn't come, so I asked his roommate. Then he told me Rylan hasn't come to his room for over a week. Apparently, he has been missing some classes too. You think about if you should tell Rachel about seeing Rylan earlier or not. Well, I left him a note so he can come see me instead. He will definitely have to answer some questions though. I might have to go all big sister on him. She does a silly stare in a joking manner. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> big sister Rachel sounds scary. <laughs> By the way, how did your potion making go? Ah, I almost forgot. I still have to modify some parts. I thought I would be done today, but things didn't go as planned. Oh, yeah, it happens. Just let me know when you're done and I would be happy to be of assistance. Well, we better get to sleep then. Somehow I feel like our instructors are going to go extra hard on us with training and such since we didn't have classes today. Sure. Good night, Lastic. Well, let's get to bed then. Good night, Rachel. Good morning, Rachel. Well, we better get ready now because I feel like, like I said, I feel like our instructors are going to go extra hard on us. Huh? All Blade Academy trainees, please report to the water fountain in front of your dorms. I repeat, all Blade Academy trainees, please report to the water fountain in front of your dorms. What? Again? Well, I, I wonder what this one is about. Let's get going then. Alright, lead the way, Rachel. I'll follow you. Oh, man. I cannot believe we're having this... This gathering again, this is very unusual. I wonder what this one is about. Oh, everybody's here. It looks like everyone's here, but... That's really unusual. Max is not here today. I wonder if there's something wrong. Well, I gotta get a little closer. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you, trainees, for all gathering on such short notice. And we appreciate you all for following orders so well yesterday. You feel a bit guilty for not following orders the night before when you went into the woods. Oops. <laughs> As you've been told yesterday, we found a hole in the magic barrier of the woods of Blaze Academy. Our diviner instructors are working hard to patch up this hole, but it seems to be taking longer than we expected. Therefore, we will have to extend the training cancellation until further notice. However, the fact all buildings and training areas of Blades Academy are safely protected remains the same, so should you decide to continue with your own self-training, you can do so. Again, we ask that you do not enter the woods of Blades Academy for your own safety. Okay, um, that was kind of unexpected. I thought we would go back to our training. But that's okay, I can totally do my self-training and stuff like that. I mean, yesterday was kind of a um, productive day. So are you going to do some self-training again today? Well, I don't really have anything else to do. You see, I used to read a lot of comic books back in our village, but couldn't bring any with me to Blaze Academy. I just don't know what else to do. If that's the case, do you... um, maybe want to come with me to the lab? <gasps> really? I mean, is that okay? Are other titles other than diviners allowed in the lab room? That is so cool. Yes, if I could come, I would totally do that. Sure. We've had some visitors in the past, so I don't see why not. If you're still willing, I would love to get some help on my new potions. But please don't think that's the only reason. We haven't had much time to hang out since we have different titles. And I thought it'd be fun to hang out there. I mean, 
I had no idea you liked comic books until now. Yeah, sure. That sounds like fun. Okay, lead the way, Rachel. I'll just follow you to the lab. What do you know? It's a witch and her guinea pig. <laughs> Seriously? Didn't your mom tell you not to say anything unless you have something nice to say? What is your problem? Why are you always mocking us? Just leave us already. Lastic, do not feed into her. It's not worth it. Oh, I see. So you are a tamed guinea pig to your witch. <laughs> Ugh. Stop it with the whole witch and the guinea pig thing. You know, you really are pathetic. Volunteering to be a guinea pig of a witch, you're disgracing the pride of blades. Guinea pig! For the last time, I am not a guinea pig! What? What just happened? What is... What, what is this guinea pig doing here? Where's Christy? Oh my! Lastic! I think you just turned Christy into a guinea pig. What? But, but, oh, but how? I don't even have magic like you do. This is... Oh, oh my gosh, this makes no sense. Oh my gosh, what do I do? I'm just as shocked and confused as you are, but I know we can't leave her like this here. Yeah, you're right. Let's bring her to a diviner instructor then. Good idea. But the only problem is, they're all out patching up the barrier hole, remember? Oh, how could I forget? Uh, ma ma maybe we could keep her in our dorm room for a day and bring her to see an instructor tomorrow. Yes, let's do that. Meanwhile, it might be better for us to keep this to ourselves. Yes, I agree. What's wrong, Rachel? Nothing. I just thought it was kind of ironic. She hates and looks down on diviners so much, but now we need to seek a diviner instructor for help. Yeah, that is ironic. Anyway, come here, Christy. We will take a good care of you. Come here. Come here. Ah! She... She just bit me! Ugh! I know you don't like diviners, but whether you like it or not, you need to get help from them. So just please come here. <gasps> come here, Chrissy! No! Oh my gosh, how is she running so fast? Oh my gosh, come here, you little guinea pig! Come... Come, come here! Lastic! Lastic, come back! Oh, what do I do? Maybe I'll go wait in our dorm room. Maybe maybe she'll find Christy and come back, and by that time, I'll have Christy's stuff ready, like bedding and everything, so that she can have a comfortable night stay at our dorm room. Okay. I, I think that's what I will do. Hi, you're Little Miss, uh, I mean, Lastic's roommate, right? Yes. Are you here to see her? Yeah, but I see she's not here. Do you know where she is? I, um... I'm sorry. I really don't know. We were together earlier, but we had some problems, and, uh... Go on. You can trust me. I just got a bit worried after feeling a strong wave of energy and came to check on her. She's kind of a trouble magnet. Uh, um... But I understand if you don't trust me enough or don't feel comfortable telling me. Well, I better get going then. Wait, she... She ran into the woods. <sighs> Somehow, I was afraid you'd say that. Even after the warning, she goes into the woods. It wasn't her fault. Please, find her. 
I'm worried about her as well. I will. Thank you for trusting me. And don't worry. I won't tell others she went into the woods. Oh my gosh. I lost Christy. Oh, I need to find her. Otherwise she... Oh my gosh, it's not going to be good when the mobs come out or when the monsters come out and like she is in the woods by herself. What if she gets eaten? Wait. I know that wolf. Yes, I do. That's the wolf I saw before. The injured wolf. But he he seems to have gotten a lot larger though. And he now has green eyes? What happened to you? You still look hurt. This wolf keeps on appearing in my dream. I think it really means that I need to help this one out. Come here. Let me help you out. Here, I, I just want to help you. I don't want to bother you. What? <gasps> oh, wow. I don't believe this. There is a little... I don't know what to call this. A hideout? Maybe this wolf has... Own owner. I, I feel so bad for going in, but... I'm just going to take care of the wolf and I'm going to get right out. That's what I will do. Excuse me. I know you don't like me, but please don't growl at me. I just... All I want to do is put some band-aids on you and make you feel a little better because you keep on appearing in my dreams. Okay, it's better for me. I know, it... I want to make it better for both you and me. So if you could just let me help you. Here. <gasps> don't touch me. Rylan? Are you stupid? Even if you don't speak wolf, when it growls at you, you stay away. What? How? What? You've never seen a person before? Ugh. Get lost already. Actually, no. I have never seen a wolf turn into a person before. Or, or, or the other way around. Wait. Are you... a werewolf? No. I am not a werewolf. In fact, I never had this happen to me until I met you. How... how's that even possible? It's not like... Just leave. You sure do have a talent of annoying me. And you sure seem to dislike me. Fine, I will leave. But let me at least help you with your wound. I have these band-aids that works wonders. Please, take them. I don't want any of your help. I understand. But did you know Rachel went to your dorm? After waiting an hour, she found out you hadn't been returning to your dorm and have also been skipping classes. She seemed concerned. I'm sure she will be even more worried if she sees you with these wounds. So don't look at it as receiving help from me, but instead as taking care of yourself. So Rachel won't worry. Ugh. Fine. He reaches out to grab band-aids from your hands. Your hands touch his slightly. His heart begins to thump faster. His face turns red. He quickly removes himself away from you. Will you please leave now? Okay, I will. Just... Please use these band-aids. Okay. Well, I did what I can do. I, I gave him my band-aids and stuff. So... Oh. oh my gosh, it's that headache again. Oh my gosh. It feels like my head is splitting it into two. Oh, I, I feel busy.